Today we are going to use a totally different method to be able to recover our device since it has a screen lock also has the account. From forgotten Gmail. Well in this video tutorial we are not going to use the PC. We are going to use a method without a PC to be able to access and recover our device. Since our device had a screen lock and what we did was format it. When we formatted it we were still left with that. Screen lock also with forgotten Gmail account. For that to be able to recover our device we go. To connect to a Wi-Fi network to be able to enter and do the process. Be connected to a Wi-Fi network. Then we will explain to you step by step what we are doing. Do and and as we will also be able to delete that account. I also want to tell you that at the end of our video. Phone when we fully recover it we are left with some errors. How do we correct these errors? Well, at the end of the video I will be explaining it to you. Let's connect to our network, well let's connect. We are going to give you that tour so that you can. See that our device is completely locked eh. Also another thing I want to tell you. We will leave other methods for PC and without PC in the video description and. In the first pinned comment we will be leaving completely different methods. I also want to tell you that on our channel we have. A member community session for those who want to support. We want you to like our content and subscribe to that community too. To be able to bring, eh, what is the benefit of this? Well, the benefit would be that. We will be publishing the videos anticipated by the community. Of a YouTube member days weeks before we are also going to give it here where it says. Do not copy I also want to tell you that we will be attentive to those. Comments are a priority for those who have any problems. And we will be able to solve it for you. How can we see our device had that screen lock? We're going to click here where it says use a Google account. We give him the use of a Google account and he would take us directly to our blocked device. What are we going to do now here? Well, let's give it a go. Here where it says forget Gmail here we are going to write anything. We click next, we write anything, we write anything. We give it next here we are going to do this process. We are going to do it for about 30 seconds, when those 30 seconds are up. What we're going to do is go back, well, we're going to wait for those 30 seconds to pass. This is what we are doing here is so that we enable a feature that we will use later, that said. We are now going to use a locked SIM car with a pin code to be able to solve this problem you know. We will need a card with a pin code, a SIM card with a pin code. We are going to introduce that SIM card and what is called an emergency call will be activated. We will enable emergency call. To be able to enter our device. In this way we will be able to delete the Google account. Another thing I want to tell you is that in this video tutorial we are not going to use the adjustment. We are not going to need the Talva either, we are not going to need that activity option either. Previously we go here to emergency call. We entered what that vLauncher application was. We are not going to need that one either from the application called head apps. We are not going to use that one either. We will use a different method without having to enter any browser. Let's click here. We are going to dial the emergency number according to our country. In order to enable Google Maps. Let's do it again. 
we wait, we come back and we do it, if we see what Google Maps gives us. What we are going to do is enter another one without an additional face, well we are going to mark again. Let's mark. Well, let's dial another number. It seems that this is coming out now. Circle. It's not loading, it's not loading, let's. Let's go back, let's add the pin code, let's add it. Let's deactivate it. It seems that it is giving us, let's give back what it was at the beginning. We will return to the beginning. We do not return to the beginning. Now we turn to it again. We're going to click here and select any SIM car, it doesn't matter. We're going to go back to where the new blockade is. Let's see if we can be enabled again from here. Enable that feature. Let's go. Let's go remove the SIM car and we'll come back. To introduce it again. We make an emergency call. We write down our emergency number. We dial again. Well, let's change what the port is then. We are going to enter what is the zinc locked with that pin code. We're going to give it here where it says emergency call. Let's see if it works, if we get what Google Maps is. If we get the Google Map, we will click on it several times. As you can see now it didn't work. In some cases it sometimes takes us a while to get in. But it didn't work anymore, now what are we going to do? Let's turn it off, EH. Disconnect the network, this the SIM car blocked with the pin code. Now what we're going to do is hold the SIM, I say this here, turn it off. We light, we hold here, ready, here it took us. Now we're going to click here where it says jump, we're going to click here on jump. Now what we have to do is click back. Let's click back to see if we can. Well, sometimes it usually works, sometimes it takes us back. But that is not the point we want. Let's look for the point that we want. Let's write again that we come out there. Let's see if this time it really takes us to the point we want. We turn off, we turn on, we hold. At this point where we will be able to find this profile. This is the profile we want. This is this little ball that is here, we are going to click on it. We'll give it here in settings, then we'll give it here in notifications. We enable these notifications, we click on them. We dev, see it we give it here where it says location. We click on OK, accessibility and we will enable what is this accessibility menu. We return, location. We give it here where it says all, here we will give it where it says more. We click here where it says show system here we will be able to find out what Google Play services are here we go. To find these Google Play services here at this point. Being here at this point what we are going to do now. Come on dev, let's disable Google Play services. We disabled it, now what we are going to do is restart our device. 
Here what we have to do is wait for our phone to restart completely. When our phone has completely restarted. So what we're going to do is finish the about the account deletion from this device. In some cases, sometimes we quickly see what Google Maps is. But in some cases it always takes a while. Sometimes it doesn't come out, as you can see it took us several minutes in that process. I had to restart the phone and then when I gave it again. When I got to where the Google account was, the location came up. I accepted it. We accepted the location and from there it enabled that option for me. Being here we will hit here where it says jump, we will hit here on jump. But as we jump, we will go back. Here we are going to delete what is, I am going to delete here. We are going to delete the network from the mobile network. The Wi-Fi data network, we are now going to jump on it. We will wait until they come here and see us. That is flashing the screen here in this option. We now turn back. Let's click on it again here. We're going to add the Wi-Fi network. We're going to add it. Let's add it again. We add, we click on connect. Here we will leave that connect the network from here. Now we are going to introduce the blocks and card with the pin code to see if it returns to us. Let in. Let's see if it lets us enter the same settings again. Google map to see that. He's going to leave us. Let's see if he lets us then. Well, we leave it like that. Well, now what? What we do here is remove the SIM card. We turn off the SIM card we turn on. Let's download notifications. Let's click here on the month to date. The date that we get, I no longer have a SIM card, but it asks me for that block. It is a mistake that does not come out, a mistake that came out but took us nowhere. We are going to introduce, we are going to remove that SIM card. We go down, we give it the date here, Lendarium. We give it here in configuration, we give it the last option. We click here where it says app. Let's see what comes up here. Log in. Takes us nowhere. We return. It seems that he is going to leave us. Going updates. Well, we're going back. It lets us do nothing. We click here. We're going to click here on these three points. Let's see what other option he asks us here. Let's see if he lets us in here. In some of these Google options either. Policy. Let's see. Support privacy. Privacy. Well, if he lets us, then what we're going to do is return what is backward. We withdraw here, since it is not letting us enter anywhere, we return. We're going back, let's see another option here. Second option, we click here. Neither. Let's go back. Backwards, backwards, in the second option neither. Back here in the calendar, we add here, we give it. Let's not take this into account either. 
Then we go we go to home. We are going to activate the Talvad, press volume up. Volume down at the same time. We are going to activate the Talbad. It seems we are going to. Here like this he leaves me. Activate the tall V we give it here in enable. We do it again. We bid a letter L backward, a letter L backward. Now what we're going to do is here I'm going to introduce. The Sinkar again since I thought I saw an option that I hadn't seen that. From there it will give us the option to recover our phone. Let's go. Click here, go down, click here, and from here we will activate. The Talbad again to see the option know if it comes out again here. Accessibility does not appear, the accessibility option appeared here, let's give it. Click here, double click, then click here, click here, here. It's not going to come out, let's click here, double click, click back. No either. So what we're going to do now is go back again here in politics. We're going to enter from here from politics, we're going to click where it says click. Then we will click here on the Xiaomi account. Then we are going to give these three lines that appear here. The Google option here, this Google option. And now it would take us to this Google option. Again we select here. Here we are going to give you help down here, we give you help here we are going to click here. If we are going to mark this, we will share it here. We're going to select Gmail, we're going to skip here, we're going to enable here. And now it is giving us the option to enable Google Play services. What we're going to do is go back, back, back. Back and forth, we now click here, jump here. Here in here we are going to delete the Wi-Fi network. We are going to delete that Wi-Fi network, we eliminate, we remove the SIM card. We hit jump, we hit jump now, we'll go here to accept. Jump and now what we are going to do is configure our phone. But we always have some mistakes left. When we have fully recovered, I will tell you which ones. These are the errors that we have left so that you can eliminate the errors. We are left with the screen not working properly. When what needs to be done doesn't work properly. To do the following we will be explaining to you. Let's wait for it to give us the option to finish the video tutorial. We wait a few seconds. Let's wait, we are already in the last steps. That's why we always recommend watching the step-by-step -step video tutorial. We click here on the arrow and the phone will be ready. Unlocked and I'm going to show you what the error is that we have left to turn off. We turn it on and our screen gets stuck. If you see, for it to work we have to lower the notification, hear the little nut. We're going here about the phone here I go. To show what the factory reset option is. We click here on factory reset and what we are going to do is completely reset the phone. 